Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Anthony Berkey. And I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your KWHS News. The Counseling Center is bustling with college visits. Lincoln Tech, a vocational school, will be here tomorrow to close out February visits. March visits kick off with the reps from UNC Greeley visiting us on the 8th. You must have a hall pass to attend these college visits. Get those from the Counseling Center. While you're there, check out other important college-related information, such as scholarships like these. Hoiser & Hoiser is sponsoring its first ever Right to Win contest slash scholarship. Hoiser & Hoiser will award five $1,000 scholarships to seniors attending college or trade school. The essay should not exceed 1,000 words and must be postmarked no later than March 1st. That's Wednesday. It's that easy. Check with the Counseling Center for the address and information. For those of you majoring in music, did you know Fort Hayes State offers music and theater scholarships for choir, band, and orchestra? Act quickly because their next auditions are this coming Saturday, March 4th. Contact the Counseling Center for audition requirements and information. Attention seniors, if you order items from Herf Jones, those will be delivered on Wednesday, March 1st at lunch in the Lower Commons. Please make sure to have your student ID or driver's license at pickup. Caps and gowns won't be delivered just yet. Those will be here in May. If you haven't ordered your graduation announcements, go to yourgrad.com to place those orders online or contact Herf Jones directly. Also, the final senior meeting is next week on March 9th at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. You must attend this meeting where you will receive important details concerning year and information because, like it or not, graduation is right around the corner. Remember, the tassel is worth the hassle. And speaking of graduation, the senior class is asking for your pictures to be used in the graduation slideshow. Send your photos to TrujilloBen2 at WSD3.org or contact Benny Trujillo directly to make arrangements. If you want your photos to be included in the slideshow, get them in early. Last minute submissions may not be included. Hey Elijah, I'm a little hungry this morning. Want to know what we're having for lunch today? Absolutely. Let's check in with Miss Betsy. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Good morning. Happy Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. Today we're having hot wings. Come down and see us, and tomorrow we're gonna have a beef, bean, and cheese burrito. We make them ourselves, come on down. Also, don't forget, those meal charges need to be paid. Thanks, and have a great day, bye-bye. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. Students, remember to pay your lunch charges or add money to your accounts. Glads, come out to support the drama department as they present Rogers and Hammerstein's musical, Cinderella. Performances start on Thursday, March 2nd, and run through Saturday, March 4th. The curtain goes up at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium, so get your tickets now. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Have you ever wanted to donate blood? Well, here's your chance. Next Thursday, March 9th, Whitefield High School is hosting a blood drive from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sign up in the business office, but remember, you must have a driver's license and parental permission to donate. For other eligibility questions, contact the Penrose Blood Bank at 776-5822. Now here is Abby Lorbecki with our sports update. It's Monday, Glads. I'm Abby Lorbecki, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. If you were not at the game on Saturday, you may stay great battle. Our Glads fought to the final buzzer, but lost their bid to the Sweet 16. Thanks to everyone who supported Gladiator basketball this season. If you need a chocolate fix, the Whitefield baseball team is currently selling world's finest chocolate for just $1. Find a new baseball player and satisfy that chocolate craving. Also, baseball tryouts begin today. Meet on Big Blue at 345. Finally, Glads, if you plan to play a spring sport, those practices begin today. But if you do not have a yellow card and current physical on file, don't even think about going to practice. Avoid the long lines today and see Mrs. Price early to turn in sports packets. That's all I have for today. I'm Abby Lorbecki. Have a great week. Back to you, Elijah and Anthony. Thanks, Abby. Attention students interested in attending the African American Youth Leadership Conference. The conference date is March 11th at Colorado College from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The conference is open to students in 6th through 12th grade. See Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center for more information. Juniors and seniors, it's not too early to start planning your prom experience. Outside guest passes are now available in the main office. Get yours early to ensure your date can accompany you to the biggest dance of the year. Guest passes are due back on April 14th. The prom itself will be on April 22nd. Finally, Glads, Student Senate kicked off its yearly campaign last week 
and it goes until this Friday. They are collecting hygiene products for homeless teens. The list of items is long, so check with a participating teacher to see what you can donate. Teachers who are participating have pumpkins in their room, and as always, Student Senate will also accept cash. Prizes will be awarded to the top teachers' classes who raise the most money and collect the most items. We appreciate your attention today. Have a great Monday. I'm Anthony Berkey. And I'm Elijah Clark. Have a great short week. Remember, we're on a PM Assembly schedule tomorrow for the Renaissance and NHS Assembly.